Alright, welcome guys. Uh, I'm here today in the Stanley Livingston Private Game Reserve in Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe. It's uh, James here with our head ranger, Elliot Chulu, and today we've got one of our uh, black rhino, Buster, with us. So Elliot's going to tell you a little bit about how Buster arrived here, and then I'm going to explain to you a little bit more about how the black rhino, um, well, the characteristics of the ba black rhino itself. Okay, this is Pasta. This is the mother of two cows. They came here, they've got about <coughs> se seven years in this property, the Victoria Falls Private Game Reserve. She was born by Bambi. She's the second child of Bambi. Bambi now has got about uh, four cows. But in the property, we have got two born by Bambi, then Pasta now has got it. only two again. So we are lucky because in this property we have got four cows born in the property. Now, as Elliot said, we're here on the property. This area which uh, he's referring to, which we're in now, is called the Rhino Boma. Now, uh, the Boma actually just means a feeding area. And what you guys might find a little bit difficult to tell here is it's not the rhinos that are inside the fence. They're actually outside. We're on the inside for our protection here. And we're giving a little bit of food to these rhinos because what it is, is it's a very important management technique for us here. By feeding the rhinos in this area, it allows us to keep very close watch on them and keep close eyes on them at all times. Uh, we're able to count the numbers, make sure that every rhino that comes through here is healthy, and if we don't see one for, for any certain amount of time, we're able to go out and actually track that one physically on the ground. Now you can see the daughter, young daughter of, uh, of, of Buster here is getting a little bit cheeky. But they just get a little Next. bit greedy around Next. feeding Next. time here. Next. Next. Now this isn't a normal diet for a black rhino. Black rhino are predominantly Next. browsers, Next. So, which means they will eat the leaves off the trees. Now the other name for a black rhino is the hook lift rhino, and you can see as Elliot feeds her here, how that prehensile lip actually grips around his hand. Just like that. And that's the same way that they would eat in the bush off the trees. They would use that lip to grab part of the branch and pull the leaves into their mouth. Now you can see our rhinos here on the property have been dehorned. Um, the reason for that is because of the, because of the poaching, because of the, the big problem that we have with poaching. It's um, a technique that is viable in some areas, but not all. Uh, for us, we're able to dehorn the rhinos because we can dehorn every single one of ours. Um, by dehorning them, it reduces the amount of time um, and the amount of risk for which the poachers may try to, to, to hunt these animals and kill them for that horn. As you can see, these animals were dehorned almost two years ago, and within that time, the, the, the horn has grown a lot. They grow almost two to three inches a year, so it's, it's still, even this amount of horn is something that the poachers might come after. Uh, it won't be long before we have to look at dehorning these rhinos again. Even without the horn, the rhinos aren't completely defenseless because out there in the bush, you can see, unfortunately, they have very, very poor eyesight for animals, but they've got excellent Next. hearing and an excellent, excellent sense of smell. Next. I Next. Now, these game cubes that they're feeding the rhinos here, these are very, very high um, in nutrition and a lot of the vitamins and minerals that the animals need. Um, therefore, the, you can see how much they actually like them. She's getting a little bit cheeky and trying to get as close as she can to Elliot there to, to get more. It's like a sweet for them. They, they really enjoy it, and it's, it's, it's something that, that enhances their, their normal diet. So, again, as part of the management technique, this is very, very important for us. Now, as she's calmed down a little bit, I'm going to introduce you a little bit closer to the rhinos, and we'll just see how they react. So here we have Buster, as I've said. In the background there is her younger daughter, whose name is Bacazella, which means patience. And then we have our young guy back here, who we all have known as Piglet, but his name is now Kashinga. Now, Kashinga is a name that means 
determination or perseverance. So it's kind of the the motto for the IPF here. We're always determined and, and we're struggling to, to keep going, but we'll never quit and with our job at hand. Now as we continue to meet uh, Buster here, I'd like to show you, if you guys can see, the tracks that she's making there. That's a very good example of a black rhino track. Yo! Now the black rhino track, this is what helps us out here. This, this allows us to, to track and monitor these animals. And if they don't come to the Boma area, this is where we can follow them. Oh, hello Buster. And we can follow them and we can keep eyes on them at all times. There you can see, that's the foot of a black rhino there. The three large toes. One big four toe and the two on the side there. Now with these tracks are our skilled rangers such as Elliot. They can actually determine each and every individual animal just through the tracks. Through the marks in the ground there, you can see each track has its own individual lines and each animal has its own individual patterns at the bottom of the feet. This is like them leaving their signature in the bush for us. We can follow their every movement with this. So there you have it guys. That's Buster, Begazela, and Kushinga. And of course Head Ranger Elliot. He's doing an excellent job of keeping these animals safe for us. Thanks guys, I hope everything's well for you back home, and we're looking forward to seeing you next time.